changed the name of it. I've changed it to the SBC private uh, fund rather than private bank. Uh, so in that, there is, uh, there's the plan for our outline, uh, the timing of when the uh, SBC private funding will take place. Uh, the, first, uh, the first step is in reaching our 10,000 member um, requirement. That is uh, for the legal structure. So if you think of it as petitions, uh, when you're petitioning a government or petitioning uh, some uh, entity, you would typically need to have a certain amount of signatures, a certain amount of uh, members that you can stand behind. And that's where the 10,000 members comes into place. And once we have that 10,000 members, we're going to begin our legal structure. And that's when the clock starts ticking ticking towards our SBC private community and then our SBC private funds and being able to utilize those. So our second step is uh, once we reach the 10,000 members, 
we're going to begin the private community notices. And what that means is that we're going to inform all the global governments and uh, entities that are required to know that we are a, uh, a private society, we're a private community, and that we intend to do them no harm. We intend to uh, interact in our own private capacity. And that's going to be uh, what we're going to be doing with all the uh, nations of the country uh, of the world and, and whatnot. Uh, and we're going to be uh, sending out notices to them and waiting for their response, waiting for their reply. So that process is typically uh, three to six months. And right now, our sponsors, uh, the members who have come to us and said, uh, we want to help you get to your goal uh, to 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 start working with a private fund and uh, start working with a private uh, community that we're trying to, to build. They've said that they've got another community already on tap for uh, April 14th of 2024. So that community is already ready to start their process of building their private uh, society, their private community. And they're hoping that we can uh, get to our goals by that time. Uh, it's not necessary that we make that goal, but it would be beneficial for us to get to April 14th, where we have our 10,000 members and we are ready to uh, move forward. So the step three is going to be to begin uh, building the, the, tech, uh, the tech build out. So my vision is for us to have uh, initially it will be an app that will work off of your phone. And uh, you'll be able to approve transactions from your SBC private funds to uh, the public banking system. But eventually, we're going to create uh, a piece of technology, much like a fob or a device that will uh, interact. And uh, you'll be able to approve transactions from that device and keep your funds secure so no one is able to, uh, to access those and do uh, do the horrible things that have happened in the past where uh, where members have been uh, taken advantage of. So this tech build out is gonna happen at the same time as we begin our uh, private banking uh, notices. So uh, our development team is ready to start working on that. And uh, we will get to a point where we'll be able to do some beta testing, some minor, uh, some minor testing in the neighborhoods, uh, in the communities, and uh, be able to see how the technology works. And we'll be learning from that process. Then we're going to go to step four, which is upon the completion of our uh, community notices. Then we're going to attach the SBC private fund and its legal structure. And our sponsors are telling us that that is uh, essentially no big deal. It's uh, something that they'll be able to get pushed through very quickly. So we're anticipating a three to month, uh, three to six month rollout of the legal structure, and then uh, maybe 30, uh, 30 to 90 days of uh, the, um, the actual private fund being set up and being fully funded, being uh, technology sound, and then uh, step five, we're gonna issue that technology, whether that be the software or the hardware, and uh, you'll have access to the private funds. And then step six is the SBC private fund is launched. So what I said earlier today in our founders meeting was that during this process, before we actually launch the SBC private fund, that is the opportunity, that's the window of opportunity for all of our members that we have current to join in and, and get active uh, with our community. So once we, once we get to 10,000 members, that's when the clock starts ticking. That could be three to six months, it could be nine months, it could be shorter. Whenever we're able to reach the goal of everyone is notified and everyone has responded and we've opened up our um, SBC private fund for the, the members that are active in our community at that time, that's when we're going to uh, we're going to cap the, the members that are going to be in the first wave of users of the SBC private fund. So all of our members that did not join us at this time, they'll be eligible to participate in a training program. 
that we're going to be building over the next three to six months after we get to the uh, the legal structure build out. So SBCBO, the SBC back office is going to turn into an educational portal where uh, our members that are active now are going to start learning how to use their SBC uh, private fund. They're going to learn how to um, educate other members going forward. But once we get to the point where we're ready to launch the SBC private fund and all of our members are active, uh, have their access to the funds, then it's going to become a private, uh, a private educational system where the next wave of SBC private fund users will come in. So those users will uh, go through a process. It could be three to six months where they will learn uh, how they'll learn what we've done. They'll learn all the hard work that we've gone through. They'll get educated on how uh, our private fund works. They'll get educated on how our private community works and they'll be eligible to receive SBC rewards, which will eventually turn into their SBC funds as, uh, as we get to the launch. So all of that is going to be tied into our SBC wallet. Um, the SBC wallet is back up and fully functional. So if anybody has had uh, some outages over the last uh, couple of days or, or uh, over the weekend, it is now fully functional. Um, we are back up and running on that. A couple of upgrades have been done. Uh, send buttons are turned on for active members, everything of that nature. Um, the last thing that I think that I want to uh, mention now is the, uh, the change to the shared bounty program. I know uh, a lot of our Filipino members have been eagerly awaiting for this change. Uh, Edmund and I have been going back and forth for the past couple of weeks adjusting and uh, talking about how the new share bounty program should work. Uh, it's unanimous that everyone wants the changes for the share bounty program to go into effect for this cycle. So we're going to have some um, adjustments to how the share bounty program works. It's going to favor those who have uh, more referrals. So if you have uh, zero referrals, uh, your your cap for the shared bounty program will be about $45 uh, US dollars. And if you have two, it'll be 90. And then it goes up from there. So I'm going to be putting together a presentation, uh, hopefully tomorrow or on Friday, uh, based on the presentation that Edmund has put together. And uh, we will go through and uh, discuss the changes that's going to happen. Those will take place in this cycle. So we're going to let the cycle run like it normally does. And then I'm going to apply the overlay of our uh, members and their, their usage of uh, their referrals, however their referrals come through. Uh, lastly, we have uh, our app is still being built. So if you have an Android phone, very soon we'll have a, uh, a web app that you can use on your phone. It'll let you know if you're going to be uh if it, it'll let you know if you've received a bounty payment it'll let you know if your payment is due it'll let you know that your payment's been accepted it'll let you know that your rewards have been received so anything any activity that happens in the sbcbo you'll get a notification on that so that app is coming that should be very soon and uh then there's the uh, opportunity for the SBC Gold Cryptocurrency. So starting on April 1st, uh, we are going to build a new cryptocurrency called SBC Gold. This is going to be a very different currency. It's not going to be like Caleb. It's not going to be like Joy G. And it's not going to be like SBC or SBFC. SBC Gold is going to be a currency that the admin gives to you. And the way that that's going to work is uh, we're going to we're going to build out SBC Gold on April 1st. We're going to fund SBC Gold and then we're going to distribute SBC Gold on May 1st, June 1st and July 1st. And that will go into a custodial wallet that will be accessible on your uh, SBC BO. That custodial wallet will show you that you're earning the uh, SBC gold funds 
And then on August 1st, you'll be able to withdraw a portion of the first month's deposit, a one third withdrawal. On September 1st, you'll be able to withdraw the second one third of your first month and the first one third of your second month. By the time that you've reached um, October 1st, you'll have a full uh, withdrawal of your first uh, SBC gold deposit. You're going to be able to withdraw that to your MetaMask account. You can withdraw it to your uh, trust wallet account, and you'll be able to exchange it for whatever the current rate is. Our intention is to build the SBC gold funds over three months without any interference from markets or anything of that nature. We're going to pump that price up and then uh, once you have access to those funds, you'll be able to do whatever you want with them. You can hold on to them. You can spend them. Uh, we'll turn it so that you can use them towards your uh, SBCBO if you'd like. So we're going to we're going to create a usable cryptocurrency that's not just uh, that's not just a, a mirror or image of Love or Joy G. So uh, look for those details over the weekend. I'll be posting a blog and uh, some details on that. And uh, that should be a very exciting opportunity. None of that's going to come out of anyone's pocket. None of that's going to be uh, something that you've got to do anything special for. The only thing that you have to do is just be an active member. And that, uh, that cryptocurrency will come to you and uh, it will build up. So with that, um, I've given you my spiel. And uh, again, welcome everyone. I see a lot of smiling faces, and I really do appreciate every single one of you. If there's any questions or, uh, you know, Noli, if, it, if you've got uh, anything you'd like to ask of me, I am awaiting. Okay, thank you, Edwin. So, but, but then before, before we take the questions, I would like to inform you that uh, one of our guests here and the Zoom meeting is very happy because the two leaders in the Philippines, that the DBC is here in our Zoom meeting, we thank you all. Introduce to you, Milo Gold. Uh, sir, may I have a look at the top of this? Milo Gold, and of course, I'm so happy and thanks to you because you want to put our TBC president here in the Philippines. They are already here. So, John Amaral is here. Great. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, you're too happy to go to the one to go and go from our uh, president of before and and uh, and now he's uh, me, but now he's now in Singapore for this time. All right, so um, you're actually sounding like an echo, so it was really hard to hear what you were saying. Is there any way that we, we can uh, eliminate the echo? Okay, uh, okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay, the basal ko sir Bell. Okay. Uh, yeah, if you get, I think if you get closer, I can hear. Okay, thank you so much. At uh, 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 after maybe the the leaders have a questions, but I would like to inform you first that uh, I'm happy. Uh, we are we're very happy also because aside from you here in the Zoom meeting, but uh, we have the two past leadership and the TBC before here in Zoom meeting right now. I would like to. Uh, Introduce to you the Milo Gold, Sir Minister, the Milo Gold one. I hope you see here the person and so on. And also the president of TBC of the Philippines here. There's Dr. Uh, Dr. Dan Amurao. But unfortunately, he's now in Singapore. I think it's, uh, maybe it's a problem of the, of the internet. But he's now in the meeting. Uh, uh, before you told me that you want to talk to Dr. Dan, and now he is in our Zoom meeting right now, including the leaders like uh, Leonardo Yao and also from the other uh, uh, province in the Philippines. Oh, that's that's great. That's um, I'm glad to hear that uh, you were able to get in touch with them. Both both uh, uh, both of those uh, members as well. You know, both those leaders. That that's that's wonderful. Great. Yes. So yeah, maybe if you have a question for Mel and uh, Doc Dan, just go ahead. If you have a questions for for Admin Scott. Hello, uh, everybody. Yes. Hello, Doc. Yes. Kumusta po kayong lahat? Ask up now. I have no question. God bless. God bless. God bless. Ma'am Minchi, nandiyan po, Doc. Kasama mo? 
Uh, malayo po siya sa akin, malayo siya. Okay, sige. Uh, okay, so andito po si, si Advent Scott, no? baka may tanong kayo. Uh, gusto, niya maka, gusto niya ko yung makausap, by the way. So far, wala, wala pa tayong tanong, ano, ano lang, sa susunod na lang siguro. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, thank you, Doc. Thank you sa panahon na binigyan mo sa amin. Maraming salamat. Thanks. Salamat talaga. God At, bless, uh, David. Hi, yes. Doc. Uh, hey, Doc, now, sabi ni Sir Mel. <laughs> But, tiksin ako, Doc. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, medyo hirap siguro si Doc ng communication sa Mer kasi nasa Singapore siya. Baka no. But anyway, thank you again nandito siya. At uh, do you have a question sir Mel with uh, Advance Scott? Go ahead. So far, uh, 100% I am supporting the new admin. Uh wishing forward to mag-success na tayo in this ano, this program and looking forward for more exciting event. Yan lang muna. Okay, yun lang na muna, Admin. Looking forward to more exciting events here in the Philippines. And the audience, do you have a questions? No questions. <laughs> no Admin. questions. All right. <laughs> They're happy. Well, I, I, I try to be as thorough as possible. So hopefully, uh, hopefully with everything that we're working on, we're, we're being very clear and transparent. So uh, welcome again, Dan. Welcome again, Mel. Uh, thank you guys so much for uh, coming back and rejoining our community uh, for, for being uh, part of that. You guys can always welcome, you're always welcome to reach out to me directly. Uh, Noli, how, no, Noli knows how to get in touch with me. Uh, every member of uh, SBC is welcome to get in touch with me. I am, um, I'm accessible through that Telegram group. And hopefully all of our members here are, are in that Telegram group. And uh, the one thing I, I did want to make, make a mention of is just to watch out for the scammers. Um, I'm not going to ever come to any of the members and ask you to change your sponsor or do any of those, uh, those things. I'm never going to ask for your access to your wallet or anything of that nature. So if you, uh, if you encounter someone who is, Uh, seems like they're they use my icon or use my name, trying to get you to uh, to do something that uh, you know gives them access to something of yours. Uh, that's not me. So if you're looking at the official Telegram group, uh, it shows that I'm the owner of the group, and uh, you can also see specifically my username, and you'll be able to know that that's me. Uh, just tonight, I found out that I could hide the members of the group from everyone else, unless you're an admin. So uh, hopefully the uh, the scammers and the attacks that people have been trying to make are uh, long over with. And um, again, I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I'm glad that we have a strong following in the Philippines, uh, specifically under, under Noli. Uh, Noli is a great guy. I think you all know that. Everybody show of hands. Is Noli the greatest guy ever? <laughs> all yes. right. Yeah, he's a great he's a great guy. Yes, it's true. Yeah. All right. So anything else that I could uh anything else I could bring to your uh to your get together? Okay. Uh thank you, Edwin, for your time. It's uh it's a big pleasure that you got a pleasure. <laughs> ano ba? Sa ano ba sa ganon? Uh, privilege that you are here in our get together NCR, uh, you know NCR SBC via builder. So just get back to that ngamia. I will thank you also to, of course, Doc Dan is here. So hopefully one time admin and we have a talk with Doc Dan if Doc Dan is here in the Philippines already. Uh, mm -hmm. thank you so much and uh, thank you for your time. Thank you so much. At uh, you you may sleep now. <laughs> I I know you're hard at work now so. <laughs> And thank you so much. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Good uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's good night for me. Have a, have a great rest of your day, and uh, we will see you soon. See you soon, yes. All thank right. you, Ajin. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Ajin. Okay, so, uh, bigyan natin ang pagkatawa na magsalat natin yung ating isang sick technical support leaders from Tacloban, si Sir Edmond. Go ahead, Sir Edmond. Yes, uh, good afternoon to all.
Uh, yes, hello, hello. Wait, wait a minute, ha. May kunin lang akong tubig. <laughs> Sandali lang. Doc Dan, thank you. Super happy talaga ako. Nandito ka. Pablo, yes, ito si Sir Menchi, oh. Si Nol. Hi, Doc. Hi, Miss Shea Plain. No, ah, okay, hi. Hello po. Hindi ko makikita po. Hello po. Ay, saan ko? Ito laki mukha. Hi, ma'am, men. Hi. Ay, sa set. Meron silang travel ngayon sa Singapore. Sana all. Nasa Singapore. Okay, si meron po tayo from si ma'am Wen from Italy. Milan, Italy. Okay, so ano pa ba? Meron tayo sa Hong Kong kanina, si Ma'am Sharon. Okay. Also, Pastor Leonardo Yao nandito rin. So, thank you, Pastor, for coming. Ah, Pastor Dan, ano po to? Get together natin dito sa NCR. So, try to contact Sir Joe, pero baka hindi nabasa yung aking, ano, yung, ah, uh, hopefully, ano. Okay, so, oh, pwede ka na, Sir Edmond? Okay na? Oh, para tagalogin niya yung inikipin ni admin. It's <laughs> a translate sa Tagalog. <laughs> okay, wait lang tayo ha. So, Saan ang venue ni Nol? Uh, ang venue po namin, dito po kami sa Kambal, Inasal. Yung pinakamain oh. friend. Ah, uh, Okay, reserve lang yung aking share dyan. Ay, sir, may daw, pumayat ka daw. Kasi ang ulan oh. na asit. Kasi isang araw na lang kumakain ko eh. One day, one eight na lang eh. O, sa amin dito, sabaw-sabaw, pakita nyo ngayon sabaw. <laughs> okay, uh, Sir Edmond, uh, kasi limited yung ating ano. Okay, go ahead. Yes po, yes po. Uh, uh, sorry. Uh, Luha pa ko ng tubig. Anyway, uh, congrats to all na uh, nandyan ngayon. Sorry, hindi ako nakapunta. Naiwan ako ng ano, sasakyan. <laughs> <laughs> Just eating. Anyway, uh, ako ay natutuwa na nandyan kayo lahat. Nandyan kayo yung mga naka, nakapunta dyan. And then yung mga nakatin sa Zoom. Oo. So... I guess ito, uh, nandito yung iba na mga leaders natin before na bumalik sila. Okay, so that's a good sign. Pakinggan naman natin kanina si Admin Scott paano yung mga upcoming na uh, magagandang pwedeng mangyari sa community na to. So, ang hinihiling ko lang, Uh, pagtulungan po natin to hindi hindi po ito ma magagawa ng eh, isang tao lang dalawang tao lang tatlong tao lang so the majority uh, must uh, do the works so yun lang ang inaano ko na nere request uh, pagtulungan natin kasi kung lahat tayo eh, gusto na mayutilize yung SBC coins eh magyayari po yun kung lahat po tayo uh, gagalaw Hindi man pare-pareho yung galaw natin pero kung lahat po tayo gagalaw kahit uh, 10%, 20%, the most important is gumagalaw po tayo, nakaka-contribute po tayo sa community na to, tayo po ilalaki. Okay? So, yun lang muna. Uh -oh. So, limited yata yung time nyo dyan. Okay? Congrats again for all those who are there presently. Okay? So Edmond, thank you kasi may gagamitin itong Zoom ko by 4P. But maraming salamat sa lahat na rito sa Edmond as mong pakilala sa iyo personally. Uh, ayan sa so Sir Mel, nakita mo na yan sa si Doc Dan at Ma'am Enchi. So next time po, maka-mamit din natin sila, Pastor Yaon. But gusto ko lang i-ano, uh, Doc Dan, si Sir Edmond Ron is one of our technical leaders na Philippines. Tapos sa ngayon po, ma ma mapalad ho kami sa Pilipinas dahil Sir Edmond ay yung kanyang talent no ay naiambag doon sa ating community at na uh, meron silang collaboration between uh, uh, Sir Edmond and the uh, Admin Scott uh, Developer Program Group para ma-enhance yung ating 
especially na magkaroon tayo ng income while subscription. So, yun pa yung kanyang nagawa dito sa atin. So, uh, for this time around, lahat ng ating mga all members, kasi sila ay bumalik sa ating community. Aside doon sa their part, hopefully, for the utilization next year, so before next year, pwede na po silang magkaroon ng earning dito uh, sa atin. So, yun pa yung i-discuss. Hopefully, next time, Siguro hindi ko may discuss ngayon kasi the, the time is very limited. After 4 p.m. may gagamit sa aking Zoom. But anyway, uh, para ito, yun lahat. Yan, sa lahat ng mga colors. Yan, yeah, napaka yung ating mga iba sa community natin sa Milan. Sa ano pa. Maraming pong salamat sa inyong lahat. At uh, maybe kita-kita tayo sa Zoom meeting. Ah, uh, we have a Zoom meeting actually kapag uh, mapo, na-forward na sa akin ni Sir Edmond yung, yung topping but <laughs> hindi ko makuha. Uh, hopefully, we have to wait to with us. And Scott, uh, ilagay naman yun sa vlog siguro within 24 hours from now so para makita po natin. Again, maraming salamat at sa inyo lahat at uh, sa next meeting po tayo. Yeah. Yan, happy anniversary. Happy yes. New Year and happy Valentine. <laughs>